Hey there, thank you for joining in. So far we have seen smartphones with multiple displays, phones that fold, flip and handsets of varying sizes. But the most intriguing and maybe the future of smartphones are the rollable display phones. We saw Oppo's rollable concept phone called Oppo X2021. Now they might never launch it for commercial use but it gives us a glimpse of what the future may hold. LG was another company that took a dig at this tech but the company stopped making handsets altogether and few others gave it a try. Now we are hearing that Honor, the company which became independent from Huawei last year, is working on a rollable smartphone with a wrap around screen. They have filed a patent showing this phone from all angles. It still remains to be seen which company will be the first to announce and release a rollable smartphone for commercial use. However, it feels good to know that there is development going on and many companies are interested in it. The main advantage of this tech is there's no crease. One of the knocks against the foldable phones is that there's a visible crease on the display where the phone folds in half. Even in the recently launched Z Flip 3, the crease looks identical to its predecessors which means it is very noticeable and you can feel it most of the time. The Z Fold 3's crease meanwhile is less noticeable as the horizontally wider screen just visually absorbs it better. But there's no such problem in rollable displays. That's not to say that a rollable design doesn't come with its own trade-offs. The most obvious of these is that unlike a foldable, which lets you open its display as quickly as a book, rollable displays take the better part of 2 or 3 seconds to fully extend, which may or may not affect you, but that's the thing. Also with foldables, there is a lot of space for components in both the sides, but with rollable, it's actually the size of a regular phone that can also extend. So it will be hollow inside for the extended part, which could compromise the durability. It also makes the phone substantially thicker. Now let's talk a little bit about the Honor's rollable phone. As you can see, its large wraparound screen covers the entire front and the back, and there is no front camera, either that or it's hidden completely. The display is likely to measure around 11 inches, which is actually tablet sized, unlike foldables which get 7 to 8 inch panel. Given that it has a wraparound screen, the power button has been moved to the top. The back panel features a quad camera setup with an LED flash. So that's everything we know about the rollable phone. With that said, Honor is planning to launch its first foldable before the end of this year. A Chinese tipster says that the phone will be called the Honor Magic X and that it will have a rather familiar design like Huawei Mate X2, meaning it will be a foldable phone like Galaxy Z Fold 2 and 3. The best thing about this foldable is that it will ship with Google services pre-installed. When it comes to its specs, we don't have any information other than the display specs which includes an 8-inch foldable display and a 6.5-inch cover panel. So that's it for today, hope it was helpful, thank you for watching. Peace out.